I want to talk with you about a powerful all-natural treatment for depression. Now, this isn't some kind of supplement. It's actually basically free. It's available to all of us. It's actually the treatment that I used when I went through a pretty bad depression myself. So a few years ago, I was going through a really difficult time and I didn't realize it for a while. Depression has a way of sneaking up on us. It's actually a topic of its own. But I realized eventually, I was like, I think I'm pretty depressed. And so I took a questionnaire, I went through my symptoms. I, I was sleeping terribly. I had basically no interest in most activities, even things I usually enjoyed. I was crying all the time, I was irritable. And I was even thinking a lot of the time that I'd be better off dead and that even the, the people who love me would be better off without me in their life. So clearly I realized I was depressed and I needed some kind of effective treatment. Now it's a side note, it's important when we realize we're depressed to get help as soon as possible, whether maybe we can do that through self-help or maybe we need professional help. But the sooner we catch it, the easier it tends to be to pull ourselves back from it before it really kind of pulls us down. So I had seen this treatment work for so many of the people that I had worked with as a psychologist. And so I said, I, I need to do this myself. So it's a straightforward process and it, it actually sounds deceptively simple. So it, and it is quite simple, but we shouldn't let that kind of uh, prevent us from recognizing how effective it can be. There are really high quality studies showing that this treatment is as effective or, or more so than any treatment available on average. So, so let's talk through this process. It's, uh, it's really three steps, pretty straightforward. The first step is just to identify high reward activities that we could do more of in our life. So we want to kind of take a look at the landscape of our lives and ask, you know, where am I doing things that, that I find are fun, or maybe not like, like we kind of fun, but enjoyable things that, that bring us a sense of pleasure. And am I doing enough things that are important? Do I feel like I'm taking care of the important stuff in my life? So for example, enjoyable, Fun activities might be things like hanging out with people that we like, maybe uh, watching uh, movies, reading books. Important things can be like taking care of chores, taking care of work, doing our uh, daily responsibilities around the house. So as I went through, I realized, wow, my, my life had really gotten smaller through my depression, kind of this, this gradual insidious process of things I had stopped doing. So it can help to take an inventory like this as you're making uh, your list of activities. Do it with uh, a friend or a family member, someone you trust, if this is helpful, because they might be able to help you come up with ideas. Part of being depressed a lot of the time is just it's, it can be difficult to generate ideas. We, we're often not as creative uh, as, as we usually are when we're depressed. So uh, activities for me included things like getting regular exercise, things I enjoyed doing, not kind of punishing have to type of exercise, but more like going for daily walks, doing some yoga. One of the things that I found most rewarding was really getting into gardening. I knew that I'd enjoyed gardening and, and I was kind of at a loss at first. I was like, gosh, I mean, I, I know I used to have hobbies. I used to have things I enjoyed doing, but but what did I used to like to do? So I realized you know, gardening is something that I could, could really kind of find some, some interest and, and even some passion in. And so I, I threw myself into this garden project in our backyard. I built a bunch of beds. You know, it was such an engaging process because it wasn't just about the time when I was actually working in the garden. Outside of that, I was watching videos to educate myself about gardening. I was reading books about gardening. It had been hard to read uh, for a while. I just couldn't find the, the interest or the motivation for it. I would try to read a book and there's just like, like no, like it wasn't sticky. Like it didn't, it didn't draw me in 
at all. I just felt like, ah, oh, like this, this book. I thought it was the books for a long time until I realized like every book is uninteresting. And then I, I, I knew, uh, again, that was a symptom of the depression. So gardening was a big one. And also just taking care of these things that were important that I had been putting off. So things like, you know, changing light bulbs around the house and other you know, types of, of uh, things that from not doing them, I was giving myself, I, I didn't realize this at the time, but I was sending the message that I wasn't really able to take care of things in my life. So make that list, make it as, as broad as possible. Kind of, uh, include as many items as you can. Even ones you feel like right now you may not be able to do, just get them on the list. We can always work up to them. So speaking of working up to things, we want to rank the activities from easier to harder. So this is going to be kind of like creating a ladder. So we don't start climbing a ladder in the middle, right? We start on the ground, right where we are. So some of your easier activities might be things that you're already doing, but maybe you'd like to, to do more of them or be more consistent, and then progressing up to harder things that may be hard to imagine doing right now, but you want to set that intention, make it a goal, something you can progress up toward. And the final step is just to do the activities systematically. So I recommend trying to do at least one thing each day. I should be careful with the word try. That can, can have a feeling of like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it if I feel like it. I mean, plan, uh, you put it in your calendar to do one of the activities from your list each day. Again, starting with the more approachable ones and working up. And you know, make it moderately challenging. So we do want to push ourselves, but we want to set ourselves up for success. So it's no good if you know, we set this really ambitious plan and then you know, we're, we're hitting it hard for a couple days and then we're exhausted or overwhelmed and we just kind of fall off entirely. So better to kind of chip away at it uh, bit by bit. And this, thankfully this approach isn't just effective but it tends to work pretty quickly. So it varies from person to person but seeing a really significant change in uh, as soon as maybe two to four weeks is not at all uncommon. I found for myself it wasn't long at all before I really started to have more energy. There were certainly ups and downs along the way, but, uh, but I, I found myself you know, feeling kind of more connected to a version of myself that I recognized. I wasn't you know, exhausted all the time, that had some enthusiasm, that enjoyed being around people. So there you have it. This approach is known as behavioral activation, so it just means uh, getting more active, not just doing stuff. It, we might be doing a lot of things already, even though we're depressed. But we need to be really strategic about making sure there are things that are giving us reward, things that we find rewarding personally. It doesn't matter what someone else thinks we should be doing or will find enjoyable. Things that we uh, believe for ourselves will give us uh, that feeling of enjoyment or a sense of accomplishment. In the beginning, it may take a leap of faith to do these things, as you might feel like, you know, I'm not going to enjoy this, it's not going to be rewarding, why bother, why put out that energy. At first, you know, we, we may need to, to do things a few times before we start to get the reward, but that, that feeling of motivation and engagement in life tends to come after we start doing the activities. So if you plan to do some things and then the time comes and you feel like, you don't really feel like doing it. I always recommend go ahead and do the thing anyway, kind of let go of your expectations for how it's going to go, and you know, give us some time. Let the process work. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.